Well, let's get in on some motocross action. Of course, Kamakawa Sports Central had to drop in on the Kenya Motocross Championships that went down. My guy, this was one event that you should have been. But if you weren't there, of course, we've got all the action up next. Extremely wet and muddy conditions at the Jamhuri track awaited competitors in Round 7 of the Kenya National Motocross Championships. The National Championship race brought together riders from eight different categories, but it was the larger bikes that caught the fans' attention, with two riders in particular, Waweru Gugi, competing in the MX1 class and Ethan Nyachai in the 125 class. And once the two classes were combined to share the track in one race, it was up to the two riders to go at it and determine who would rule the muddy track. The first hit was a nail-biter of a race as Ethan Yachai, despite having a slower takeoff, applied pressure to Ngugi Waweru. A slight miscalculation is all Nyachai needed to take the lead, which he held on to jealously, ensuring he finished the hit at first place. In the first moto, I didn't get the best start, but I managed to get into first after the guy leading fell. Then the second heat, I was in second at the beginning, and I closed up on the first two laps, but then I fell on the third lap, and I finished in second. The first heat, I had a good start. I gapped a bit, yeah. then I fell, then I got past, so I finished second. But uh, yeah, the competition is pretty good. It's basically me and Ethan, because I think we lap until about that. So it was just the two of us in front. So yeah, so it's good competition. As the day progresses, I just hope to stay on two wheels a lot more. I've fallen three times in one moto, so that's three times each in 15 minutes. So if I could stay up a bit more, hopefully win my remaining heats. And unfortunately, my com closest competitor, Elias, uh, is injured and has missed uh, per this race and the last race. So I should be able to wrap up my championship if I finish this race. So yeah, we we'll to wrap that up this weekend. The second heat saw a more focused Waweru taking control of the race at the very early stages and holding on to get his first number one finish of the day, leaving his main competition of the day at second place. Um, for this third heat, I hope to have a repeat of the first heat. I just need to be consistent and keep the pace up. The day's final heat looked to be headed Waweru's way, but Nyachai was not done just yet as he put forward some brilliant riding display to leapfrog Waweru and claim his second first slot finish of the day. The merging of the two classes in the race meant that the aggregation of points would be done at the respective classes, ensuring that despite Wawera missing the first spot in both races, he would still bag the first spot in the MX2 class, while his counterpart Ethan Nyachai finished on top of the MX125 category. Good day. Won two out of the three races, but overall in my class I won all three. 
uh, when we spoke earlier, I'd fallen three times. <laughs> I told you I was trying not to fall, so I didn't fall after that. So at least, yeah, that was better. We won uh, one out of the three heats when we combined, and in my class, I won the overall. So now I should be able to wrap up my national title. Then next uh, next race, it's for the CIC, uh, CAC championship. In other categories, Tanav Choda won the 50cc category. Neo Wahome emerged top of 65cc and the 85cc went Zeni Mokaya's way. Completion of Round 7 sees focus shift to the CIC as the track is expected to host riders from across Uganda and with conditions expected to be as challenging, the riders will be looking to have home advantage play in their favour as the Ugandans visit. In this event is uh, CAC 7 and um, it's the penultimate uh, round of the championship. But mostly it's a precursor to the, um, the event against Uganda, uh, the Continental African Championship uh, number 2, which will be on the 10th of December. And we are calling upon all the riders, including the old retired riders, to come over and support us on the day. The good outing for the two riders could serve as an indicator of things to come as the Kenyan riders will be looking to settle the record straight in December's Continental Africa Championships after losing to the visitors last year and suffering an away defeat earlier in the year.